Today we had a, a program as part of our President's Week, Schools Out, We're In, games our presidents played. So we took this opportunity to take a look at colonial and early American games. We played with um, some things that were loaned to us by local historic Richmond Town just for the, this program. I'm a history buff, so I like getting people familiar with how things used to be, but also it kind of you know gets kids more getting their imaginations and they're, they're physically involved and, and interacting with, with their world. Toys that don't just plug in or light up or require batteries. This is a ball and cup and it's a great toy for uh, building up dexterity and actually, you know, consider maybe some of the skills that would be a prerequisite for, for hunting, which was very important earlier in our food system. And all this requires is a bead, some, uh, some beef or mason twine. Um, a tongue depressor and an empty dried out can of Play-Doh. It's okay if they don't get the ball and cup in in the first try or the tenth try. It teaches you some kind of perseverance and eventually they will get it. So this is a whirly gig. Um, this is what I guess children play with in the time back then. So we showed the kids how to use them today. We cut out little um, cardboard circles because it's easier to do it with a cardboard because it's obviously stronger. You put the string through both sides and then you would knot it at the end. And then once you pull the strings through, you want to hold it really tightly. Pull the string and then it will spin. You know, our presidents had this common experience of of playing with these, these wooden toys and interacting with the outdoor environment in, in a certain way. There's definitely a commonality and then it gives us a moment to kind of compare our lives and, and contrast them. But yes, all the presidents were kids once too. <laughs>